Hello everyone, welcome back to the Outback Zoo. Yes, we are back in our little zoo and uh, I still can get enough koala house which we built last time. I'm looking at the management which we should do right now. There's not much really happening. We have some VIP guests. So we will just say hello to get the leaves. And uh, what is this? Vending machine broken down okay then that's easy we will call mechanic to fix it for us um last time we uh, actually uh, put some koalas into our uh, koala house and i was talking about getting some new ones however this turned out to be pretty uh, challenging because uh, koalas are uh, very spotty on the animal uh, trading center and uh, they are either very expensive or basically non-existent so we will stick with the two we have so we got Harriet which will be uh, our female and uh, Cooper Teddy our male and we will just stick to them they are they are good and they are pretty popular so that's good uh, we already have some uh, pregnant kangaroos again so uh, we will have uh, small joeys very soon that's also uh, good news. Now, uh, with uh, basically no management to be done, I uh, I still have a lot of stuff to do. And uh, by stuff, I mean uh, stuff facilities. Um, so uh, we will maybe look at that later on. But um, this is what I've already shown you, this uh, little keeper hut here uh, at the dingoes enclosure. I've put that on the workshop and uh, so you can get it there. It's uh, pretty nice and I very like this uh, color variation and style. So I've made another one actually. This one is a staff building with the power uh, generator. This will be on the workshop as well. And uh, you can certainly find the links in the description of the video. So uh, be sure to check that out if you want to use it in a your franchise or sandbox whatever and i might actually uh, build uh, this stuff facilities myself if uh, there is uh, no provider for me and i will probably follow up this uh, this uh, scheme which i really do like so uh, but anyway let's get to our uh, today's animal which will be camel and we will use this area for the camel um obviously uh, i good band for the cassowary which is like the fourth animal of uh, the australian pack oh we have one joey actually okay uh, but don't get sidetracked here arika okay uh, but the thing is that i'm doing cassowary in the montebello zoo right and uh, this would mean i would put two videos of uh, cassowary uh, in the same week and uh, I already did that with the koala and I think it's uh, it's a little bit contraproductive actually to do the sec same animal twice per week and I would like to actually avoid that. So we will do camel today which will be pretty basic habitat I think and the cassowary in uh, the next week. So uh, let's get back uh, to the camels and the speed belt and I will talk some more about that because the camels will go to the Australian area in, and it actually makes sense. Uh, so let's get on with it. So uh, camels, yes, um, I think we can uh, talk about that because the start of this uh, speed build is uh, really me playing with the parts, with the barriers and uh, I will create some uh, custom shade structures for the viewing points. Um, so we can talk about the camels in Australia. It really does make sense and I uh, did went to Google and to Wikipedia so um, you can check that out as well. Um, it's uh, there is some uh, interesting information about that because the camels in Australia that's a real thing and I, I uh, actually saw uh, one photo um, quite recently and I was surprised as well if you are surprised if not well it is a real thing it all started uh, in uh, the 19th century something around 1840 when first camel was brought on uh, the ship from uh, arabia australia uh, arabia india not sure 
um, and uh, then uh, 20 years later uh, even more cameras uh, were brought to Australia um, the idea is actually not bad at all I mean the cameras are perfectly suited for the Australia and uh, they were meant to be brought in uh, for the uh, as, as a uh, useful animals uh, to help with the transportation of uh, the uh, items and packages during uh, the expeditions to the inland Australia and uh, yeah like I was saying they are perfectly suited for uh, this uh, desert biome and uh, so it was uh, quite a success back then and uh, some uh, uh, people even made a big business out of this however uh, in uh, the start of 20th century and the start of uh, motorized uh, vehicles it became quickly obsolete and uh, some of the cameras were released to the wild which uh, didn't go as well uh, because they uh, as, as, as many of other species they are not uh, you know the australia is not prepared for them there are no uh, natural predators for them and they uh, can uh, live there quite happily and breed quickly um, so uh, they just went feral and uh, um, became uh, pretty common in australia in some territories and they even started to be a bit of a problem for the australia because uh, they uh, breed quite a lot and their population is uh, growing each year so that even in uh, some of the recent years they had to be um, controlled and there were some uh, Callings and some programs to reduce uh, the numbers of uh, the feral camels in Australia so it's not all that uncommon to see uh, them roam the uh, outback uh, however they have some uh, negative impact on the environment because uh, when they are thirsty and hungry they can be pretty aggressive in a uh, search for uh, the food and for the water so uh, uh, they can uh, destroy uh, lots of uh, plants and uh, even you know be uh, quite uh, dangerous for the farmers for the aboriginal people so it is a problem and well um, in australia i think the invasive species is a problem as a as a whole and that's why they are uh, so uh, careful with uh, anybody coming to australia you know they just trying to make sure you do not bring any uh, not native species um, okay and uh, yeah let me just say one more thing that in uh, the end part of this build i will be preparing an education board about the uh, camels in australia and basically um it will uh, be implied that it says the just the things i've been uh, talking about right now um the habitat itself is uh, quite simple i mean the camels does not need a lot basically a big dune of sand uh, one or two of the plants and that's it um I took once again a liberty with the plants here a little bit the camel is you know in the game Asian animal which requires desert and uh, tempered plants well I I've added some Australia ones and um, I don't care I mean it does not impact their welfare a lot so I'm good with that and so uh, eucalyptus it is and uh, also some uh, bushes that are actually native to Oceania and uh, I've used the eucalyptus tree as a support for uh, this nice little shade structure which will be uh, just enough I think for the camels as a sort of a shelter I will not be adding any any house or anything because I think they can uh, do just fine in uh, the desert and uh, with the temperatures i mean what animal could be better in uh, this environment than camels 
Um, regarding the space, I hope this is enough for at least three or four uh, animals. I don't plan to have more in uh, this habitat. And uh, um, but <laughs> you will see me uh, having some uh, plans for breeding a little population uh, of. Uh, Camels, but uh, more about that later when we get uh, to the life part and it will be pretty soon because uh, this uh, speed build is not uh, very long at all actually it uh, took me less than an hour to uh, put this together and uh, so, so I did not use uh, speed up a lot I think just five five to six times I sped it up five to six times uh, not more than that and yeah this is um, right now this is me doing that education board for you um, just uh, just a quick reminder that when you want some uh, very interesting and uh, unusual texture it's it's worth to check out the backside of some items here I use the backside of uh, that Australia wooden map and the texture is nice and even the the back of those paintings the Australian ones are kind of interesting so uh, do check that out and uh, do not hesitate to use it a bit differently to get uh, some uh, interesting and uh, non-traditional you know uh, looking uh, stuff and uh, maybe boards with some information which is basically what I'm doing right now uh, the rest of it is uh, really boring stuff so I think we can manage uh, just uh, an uh, eight minutes of uh, speed build and we can go back live and uh, look at all of this that I have uh, built right now and uh, get some more animals in and uh, finish up the enrichment items for them and so on so on so uh, see you there guys now camels it is and uh, believe me or not this is the first time i've touched this animal like ever in the planet zoo and uh, yeah it's night right now and it's always a good reminder to care care of uh, lightning which we actually do not have any of this on the koala house because i did this actually offline on the workshop in the sandbox so uh, we may Wanna add that here? I don't know. Uh, we have some issues to work out, and uh, yeah, I think once we are done with that, it will be uh, uh, light, uh, the morning light, so uh, we are fine. Um, habitat camel it is, and uh, we definitely need new keeper to take care of our camels. So uh, my question is obvious: Who's gonna? Who wants to be a keeper of a camels? Let me know in the comments if you want to take care of the camels and I will be very glad to make you so. Um, your work zone will be the camels habitat, the keeper hut and uh, this uh, little fella called staff room. Oh, oh boy, we already have the work zone for that. Okay, poor me, poor me. But let's just assign this dude for now and uh, camel it is and uh, it could be you. Yes, it could be you. So what else is new? What else is new? I thought I saw. Oh, yeah, we are expecting offspring. Amelia, hello, you're pregnant. Great. That's great. Um, I think we need new camel. We need new camel because we have what is this? Um, not a Sandy, I can even pronounce that. So, this is going to be Hampila, Hampila Hampiti, Hampila Hampiti. It is, uh, and uh, it's going to be future mother of uh, many, many. Camels, I hope so. Um, we need to do some enrichment here, and I think before we even uh, buy some uh, camel mail, I think we need to at least get some uh, 
feeders and such uh, to this uh, little camel because we don't want it to die that would be shame so a uh, feeder through medium right here that's fine water yes definitely here's some water for ya here yes okay it's destroying our dune a little bit so how's the welfare now i think it's better and this is good the plants are well we can live with this management non-existent now let's just look for some animals in the trade center oh there's a lot of to be offered for us but the prices are out of our league so maybe this one fertility gene is actually what i can live with this one is even better but the price is oh no no way i like it's six uh, isn't it two or no i like this one yeah i like this one let's let's do it um so what research yeah we have some research done which is good um for the camels we are already moving into the right direction what is this he, koala has been in the box why it is in the box um hopefully there are not a lot of issues with this koala ice house i just hope um we have some uh, visitors okay let's uh, not take uh care about this right now i need my camels where are my camel where is my male camel can i have it please please can i have it okay there he is um because we're gonna name it and um you guessed correctly this one is going to be called rudy yes um I know this isn't original at all and I know about one franchise at least that has uh, came Rudy and I've heard he's naughty as hell so that's actually good we need that um, we need a lot of <laughs> a lot of small camels to came out of this guy and I've heard he's good at that so yeah hello Rudy oh he's he's pretty big and uh, seems nice who are you buddy some action already i wouldn't be surprised at all actually <laughs> so you know what maybe uh, let's give you some enrichment items first that might do that might take some uh, you know happiness to you um rubbing pillar i just don't like the colors um this can be actually edited so uh, let's do it and uh, let's uh, let's look what else we have um hanging feeder of course why not let's put it here um what else i think grab grab ball do they play with grab ball i don't know uh, let's find out let's just uh recolor it can it be recolored yes green it is um i like my green and let's put some uh, bedding extra large nope just large i think large will be fine let's put two of them maybe three okay so uh, how's your welfare now enrichment seems to be better we can even do more species enrichment like the feeder so uh, what else what else can we get small barrel feeder we can have um yes we can do that let's put it all around here and we can i mean yes it can be recolored as well i like when the uh, anything can be recolored how about this this hanging feeder oh everything can be recolored awesome um so let's stick to our color scheme we've set for ourselves um another wet research is done our vet is pretty productive um strawberry bubblegum you're doing great job thank you um so we do switched um these two keeper hats actually i've made one here and this one i've turned into the keeper hat for the cameras so we're good here um you know what uh, do you know this trick uh, maybe i can show you um let me just uh, take a quick look here 
yeah we already did this here so let's do it um this is a group of uh, wooden pallet and uh, you can see that um i'm using that to cover up the stuff part which is ugly as hell uh, but all you need actually is to just a little small um part of the path can be just the stuff path to uh, prevent people from going where you don't want them to go and uh, the rest of it you can have just the regular path not the stuff path which is exactly what i have you know this uh, natural path here then uh, i've covered this one with some wood and then here's the keeper hut for the dingo so uh, that's a little neat trait how you can avoid having that ugly stuff part which I really hate. I don't understand why we have to have this ugliness for the stuff parts. And oh, education. Yes, education, important stuff. And another important, oh, I'm forgetting the important stuff. Yes, the important stuff. Donation boxes, donation boxes, more donation boxes um there you go give me your money 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 um i'm playing franchise so this is pretty important now and uh we can once again do to do, do, do um some coloring let's put some more um there you go um there you go and there you go so uh, education has to be fixed and uh, I can wait to show you this education board camels in Australia how did they get here I've already told you in case you don't know well you can read it all about here uh, the people are actually not looking at this well because they don't know but oh this is weird they are looking through this wall so um there's actually easy fix to it i think yeah we just need to make it a little bit uh, higher up and uh, let's uh, copy this a uh, bit down some fixes yeah that's uh, pretty usual, you know, you know, create something that it does not work as well. So, a uh, koala is thirsty. That's interesting. Let's uh, let's check if we do have some uh, water stuff. For oh, did we forget to put down the pipe or well anything that would uh, give some water to koalas? Well, that's a shame so uh, food and water it is and i think what we need is you know what let's just filter it by the koalas da -da 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 -da, koala. yeah this one oh sorry pure koalas i'm so sorry i did not meant to you know do any harm to you hopefully oh this one is pretty good <laughs> Oh my, this is funny. Okay. But people seem to like it, you know. It's uh <laughs> Yeah, let's just let's just turn our attention back to our cameras, I think. Uh because this is getting out of hand. Um any action here? Maybe do we have some problems? No. Let research is uh working out for our uh, favor. I think we can do some uh, genetic studying. Let's compare mates. So we have Humpy D, Humpy Ta, and Rudy, and oh, this and actually, this has some potential here. Um, and once we have the research fertility bonus, I think we are going to have a lot of small Humpy Ts. That's great. Um, did I forget anything? Here's uh, one more education board and i think we can even manage to sneak in maybe some uh, one of the um, general education board 
Conser conservation yeah, education board it is called let's let's just uh, do some uh, sneaky 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 here yes um let's do i don't know a repair of ozone layer or whatever i mean that's really not inter important at all and uh, we will add some of those uh, Australian uh, beams. Oh, Harriet, koalas are about to mate. Oh, let's look at that. Let's look at that. I want some neat animation. Did I just miss it? Yeah, I have probably missed it. That's a shame. Sorry, guys, I missed that. Some cuteness from our koalas. Mm, but you're going to have offspring and uh, is she pregnant no she's just thirsty okay so that did not work out but uh, we're going to have new dingo so that's definitely uh, good information and uh, let's let's just finish this we will put one uh, right here and one right there yeah and it instantly looks uh, way better i can even add uh, or do i want to do it yeah i do some of those wooden planks to make it uh yeah to make it a little bit uh, nice colors and uh, we do have new dingo puppy eva it is okay and she's gold i think this one this one is very nice so uh puppy puppy eva puppy eva it is and uh, i really like you i do so uh good news all around our zoo which is shaping up to be very nice I do some offline uh, lighting stuff because uh, it's getting dark and we are missing some lamps in here. Um, uh, for the next episode, um, the cassowary might uh, make sense. I hope you like the camo. This episode was really on the shorter side, I guess, but that's that's uh, good with me. Um, let's uh, take maybe one more animation of baby being born. Okay, it's already out. Oh, that's weird that's weird i get the notification that there is something going on and when i click on that it's already too late so that's a shame um but uh, this little humpity let's uh, maybe name him darana uh, darana yeah let's call it jumpilla little jumpilla it is and she's gold as well so uh, we are getting some uh, nice little animals in our zoo which uh, we can certainly sell for conservation ports or keep in our zoo um, but uh, i think that's enough for uh, this episode which i keep on the shorter side because the camels really did not take too long and um, if you're not subscribed consider doing so to help me and if you enjoyed the episode just let me know in the comments or uh, leave a thumbs up and um, we will just raise tickets a little bit and call it a day so uh, guys goodbye and uh, have a nice day